Hi there. Now, it's quite common to get questions in arithmetic progressions where they give you the values of two particular terms in the sequence and you're asked to find the first term and the common difference. So in this example, what I want to do is show you how we go about working these kind of questions out. And what we've got here then is in an arithmetic progression, the sixth term is two and the tenth term is minus 14. And we've got to find then the first term and the common difference. So to do questions like this, we should be familiar then with what an arithmetic progression is or an arithmetic sequence. We've got the first term is a and the second term is a plus 1d or just a plus d, third term a plus 2d, fourth term a plus 3d and so on. So the tenth term would be a plus 9d. The fifteenth term would be a plus 14d. So in general the nth term often called un is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d, a formula that you should be familiar with. So we can apply this formula here then in this kind of question. We're told that the sixth term is 2. So we're basically saying then that we're given that the sixth term, or you could write u6, is equal to 2. And we can substitute this into this formula here. So therefore what we have got is that 2 for u6 is equal to the first term, we don't know that, so it's a plus n minus 1 times d. Well n is 6, so if we subtract 1 that's going to be 5 and we multiply it by the common difference d. Now we've got two unknowns in this equation, so it's impossible to solve it. So it's going to require simultaneous equations, so I'm going to number that equation 1. So where do we get our other equation from? Well it's clearly from this statement here that the tenth term is minus 14. So we'll just put down here then that the tenth term which is u10 is equal to minus 14. And so therefore if we use this equation again we've got minus 14 equals the first term a plus n minus 1, n is 10, so take 1 away from that, gives us 9, and times it with d. And so that's our second equation. And so it's just a question of solving these simultaneous equations. And there's many ways that we can solve these. You could do it by substitution. I'm going to do it by elimination because we've got a just simply here which can be eliminated if we do equation 1 minus equation 2. Equation 1 minus equation 2, what does that give us? Well we've got 2 minus minus 14 which is going to be 16 and that's going to equal, well the two a's cancel and then we've got 5d minus 9d which is going to be minus 4d. And if we divide both sides by minus 4 we end up with d equaling 16 divided by minus 4 which is that d, that common difference, equals minus 4. OK, we found the common difference first rather than, say, the first term. That doesn't matter. We'll just go on and find out what the first term is. And we can do that quite easily by just substituting our value for d, d equaling minus 4, into either equation, 1 or 2, I'm just going to substitute it into 1. And if we do that, then we've therefore got that 2 equals a plus 5 times the common difference, which we now know is minus 4. And so, therefore, we've got 2 equals a minus 20. And if we add 20 to both sides, we end up with that first term, a, equaling 2 plus 20, which is 22. Now it might be that a question now asks you to find, say, a particular term. If it does, say, it asks you to find the 15th term. You're well equipped to do that now. You could say that the 15th term, u15, is equal to a, which would be the 22, 
plus 14 then times the minus 4. OK, well, I hope it's given you some idea then on how we can go about working out the first term and the common difference then when we're given two particular terms in the arithmetic progression.